welcome to a new series on Momentum and Impulse Grade 12. Today we will start by looking at what momentum is and then we will focus on some momentum calculations. Let's take a look at how to define momentum. Momentum is defined as the product of an object's mass and its velocity. It is given by the equation P is equal to mass times velocity, where P is the momentum measured in kilogram meters per second. M is the mass of the object measured in kilograms, and V is the velocity measured in meters per second. The mass of an object is constant, so when the momentum of an object changes, it can only be because the velocity changed. Now that we have a formula to find momentum, let's take a look at a real-life example. We will look at the momentum of ammunition fired from an army tank. To calculate the change in momentum of an object, we can use the equation change in momentum is equal to mass times change in velocity. Here we can see that change in momentum is equal to mass times final velocity minus initial velocity. Tanks transformed military battlefields and the techniques of war. In the next two lessons, we are going to explore the operation of a tank's main gun. This will help us to understand momentum and force. Ammunition is loaded into the main gun before it is fired. Modern tanks use special armor piercing ammunition like these shells. Now watch carefully as this tank gun is loaded and then fired. Before the gun is fired, the ammunition or projectile is stationary. When the gun is fired, the projectile moves at 1,575 meters per second. With this information, we can calculate the projectile change in momentum. But first, we need to know the mass of the projectile. The projectile's mass is 34,5 kilograms. The initial velocity is 0 meters per second. The final velocity is 1,575 meters per second. Using the forward direction of the projectile, as the positive direction, we can now calculate the projectile's change in momentum. The projectile's change in momentum is equal to the mass 34,5 times the final velocity, which was 1,575 minus zero minus the initial velocity. This equals positive 54,337,5 kilogram meters per second. It is important to remember that momentum is a vector, since momentum is velocity times mass, and velocity is a vector. Therefore, momentum has both magnitude and direction. We need to specify that the momentum of a bullet is in a forward direction. Let's look at another example to understand the vector nature of momentum better. Consider the momentum of a tennis ball that is dropped to the floor and bounces back up. The tennis ball has a mass of 0 0.15 kilograms and is dropped to the floor at initial velocity of 6 meters per second and bounces back up at a final velocity of 3 meters per second. As the ball approaches the floor, it has a momentum that we call the momentum before the collision. When it moves away from the floor, it has a different momentum called the momentum after the collision. The bounce on the floor can be thought of as a collision taking place where the floor exerts a force on the tennis ball to change its momentum. Now we can calculate the momentum before the bounce. Because momentum and velocity are vectors, we have to choose a direction as positive. For this example, we chose the initial direction of motion as positive. In other words, downwards is positive. Initial momentum, P subscript I equals mass times initial velocity, V subscript I. This equals 0 0.15 kilograms times positive 6 meters per second, which equals 0 0.9 kilogram meters per second down. As a vector diagram, it would be an arrow pointing down. When the tennis ball bounces back, it changes direction. The final velocity has a negative value. Now calculate the momentum after the bounce. Final momentum, 
P subscript F equals mass times final velocity, V subscript F. This equals 0 0.15 kilogram times negative 0 0.3 meters per second, which equals negative 0 0.45 kilogram meters per second. This means 0 0.45 kilogram meters per second up. As a vector diagram, it would be an arrow pointing up. Notice the up vector is shorter than the down vector. Now let's look at what happens to the momentum of the tennis ball. The momentum changes during this bounce. The change in momentum is equal to the final momentum minus initial momentum. Remember we chose downwards as the positive direction. This means that the final momentum has a negative number. Change in momentum delta P equals final momentum P subscript F minus initial momentum P subscript I. This equals negative 0 0.45 kilogram meters per second minus positive 0 0.9 kilogram meters per second, which works out as negative 1.35 kilogram meters per second. That is 1.35 kilogram meters per second up. Here are the vector diagrams. Notice that the direction of the change in the momentum is the same as the direction of the force that caused the change. In this case, the force of the floor on the ball was upwards. Now you know what momentum is and how to calculate the change in momentum during impact. This brings us to the end of our lesson on momentum, grade 12s. You can also find more information at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.